morning students may I have your attention for a few additional announcements as we continue our journey understanding western civilization i would like to bring to your attention another lesson from the history of humanity to our jewish brethren happy hanukkah it is day two of the eight day festival and you know this is a very special time of year and whether you practice christmas sacred christmas secular hanukkah whatever the case might be we try to invoke some peace love joy and understanding into this five or six week period but i want to highlight today hanukkah the festival of lights and i want to highlight a little bit of history related to the hebrews and the jewish people in the year 168 bc so we're talking about an event nearly 2200 years old the syrian king antiochus epiphanes sent his soldiers to jerusalem so we're talking about a foreign invasion the syrians desecrate the Hebrew temple, the holiest place for Jews at that time. Judaism in their home country was abolished. Their festivals were abolished. The practice of circumcision was abolished and it, things were replaced with the Greek gods and the Greek traditions. But then enter Judah the Maccabee who led a Jewish revolt and they were able to defeat the Syrians. And part of that legend goes as follows, that there were those in the temple and they only had one jar of sacred oil that would only light the lamps. I mean, keep in mind, 2,200 years ago, right? You understand there's no electricity. The holy lamps, the holy oil, there was only enough for one day, but yet it lasted eight days see the story of hanukkah is the story of humanity of overcoming oppression of overcoming victimization and of perseverance judah and the maccabees overthrew the foreign invaders the hebrew people in the temple persevered and had oil for a day that lasted eight days See, if you study the course of human recorded history, and there's only about 5,000 years of recorded human history, you will discover that the United States did not invent oppression. It existed well before in the annals of human history. And there have been those groups, and perhaps no other group more than the ancient Hebrews, today's Jewish people, that have overcome oppression, that have overcome victimization, that have been enslaved by the Egyptians, that have been invaded by the Syrians and other foreign invaders, that were expelled from their homeland by the Romans in 70 AD and did not return until 1948 following the tragedy that was the Holocaust, following the extermination of six million people, six million Jews and another seven million others. Ladies and gentlemen, reflect on this time of peace, love, joy, and understanding. Take the lesson of Judah and the Maccabees. Persevere. Overcome the oppression in your own lives and be prosperous. So I say to the Jewish people, Happy Hanukkah. And I'm going to take that Hebrew word from this morning's Christmas carol, Hallelujah. It is an interjection and an expression of gratitude used 24 times in the Hebrew Bible, as well as in numerous Christian uh, New Testament books. So I tell you this, I'm not proselytizing. I am educating. You take your religion for what it's worth, but the Hebrew people have given us an example to follow and certainly if they have persevered for over 2200 years we can persevere for perhaps 22 days make this world what you want we're here already we're respectful we're safe because we go we're supposed to go we're there on time and each and every day we're using god, our own god-given ability to do the very best we can have a good one